Okay, you random captured American ship. All your sailors are now in the property of Britain. Not again. Do we have to put you on timeout again? The War of 1812, dubbed Mr. Madison's War, was yet another milestone in America's development. It involved kicking Britain's butt again and shoving them out of America for good, including all the rowdy Native Americans they got on their side. Yes, revolt in America was a very good idea in our eyes, because as soon as America gets on with this rebellious teenager phase and its development, the sooner everybody else gets on with whatever they're doing right now. And besides, they need to give us something for all those years that we spent nurturing them and raising them from the ground up. Come on, you British crumpet crackers. We don't owe you anything. You tried to take over every aspect of our lives, and when we stood up, you sent soldiers to try and limit us. But not even the most advanced military in the world can stop our forces. Well, if you don't stop this right now, we'll blockade your ports, you arrogant American abomination. Bring it on, you British blockheads. And this, this is, is how, how the War of 1812 began. began. The British, with their Native American allies, repelled American attacks at Frenchtown in present-day Michigan and proceeded to massacre the survivors of the battle. American forces tried to take over key positions in the north, going as far as to burn York in present-day Toronto, an outpost of the British. But the British retaliated with the burning of Washington, D.C. and the White House. American forces took over most of the Northern Territory with a victory at Lake Champlain, then repelled an assault at Fort McHenry in Baltimore, which inspired the Star-Spangled Banner. Peace was reached in late 1814, but the Americans didn't do a very good job of spreading the word and proceeded to kick the British out of New Orleans. But after the fighting had stopped, after the war, the Monroe Doctrine, an important document, was passed, which basically built a wall around our continent that everyone but the British could get through. And in the end, the war was just a $105 million stare down that ultimately ended in a tie. No, we won that war. As if. Now if you're so tough, why don't we settle this in a rematch? Wait, what? It's you again, how's it been my dude? Are we fighting one on one like we did in 1782? Because our Minutemen are ready to go to war We be fighting off those Brits on our own damn shore well, I can't say I'm pleased to meet you again With your itty bitty army and the way you act pretend This is the second time in these past couple years you disagreed To shut your dang trap about what you think you need America, you don't even deserve our attention France needs a much more result to you, I'll mention People keep running around, you steer the ground We're trying to fight the French and not deal with the crowds Then why don't you stop blockading us with a big, big boat? Because a big army isn't real, much reason to blow We've beaten off our land plenty of times Then natives won't stop me from taking what's mine might be young, but we're not new to this. We fought off countries with our own bare fists. In fact, we've got a pretty long list. And we'll have you know that we never miss. America, to stop you, I have to cut you off. What's the bad? I'm not happy eating now that I've feeding trough. For you, it might be terrible, but for us, it's just fun. We'll just sit back and wait till your country's dead and done. Oh look, a native village? Destroy it! Found some British warships? Burn it! You'll just continue on with your impressment? That will leave you in a predicament. America, forget it. You're going to lose the war. We'll go down and destroy everything you care for. Your White House is burned, your capital is gone. We'll burn your constitution right in the front lawn. We're bigger and better than you guys will ever be. Why even fight us when we're the only thing you see? But your communication's trash and you're so disconnected. So what? We'll flank you from behind and you'll all be affected. We might be young, but we're not new to controversy. We've got lots of your men here begging for our mercy. I dare say this, Britain, but we've got the upper hand. And we'll go and kick your Brits again off our land. 
America, I won't say I'm not disappointed, but it's still to you the finger of blame is pointed. You may have wanted to end with your men in your fight, but this isn't the last of the British Empire. Thank you all so much for watching. This video is special because it features Dax from Ridiculous Entertainment. Yeah, that's me. Go and subscribe to Ridiculous Entertainment. We make funny videos and we make original content. But don't forget to subscribe to yours truly either. Also, tell us what you think of this video by liking and commenting down below. Again, thank you for watching. And remember, remember to stay edgy. edgy. Bye! Bye.